I am Mark Stewart. I am not running for president, but I am in five presidential primaries. And it's for several purposes, but clustered together, they equate to improving democracy. And this first video, this is the first for New Hampshire, really is about a New Hampshire issue that has national implications for democracy. It is New Hampshire's bill 1264, H.R. 1264, was passed in 2017 and is taking effect in this coming primary season. It is there to protect the voters who are true residents of New Hampshire and to keep the validity of their vote not being diluted by people who don't live here permanently. The term domicile has lots of different meanings. The legislature wisely wanted to clarify what it was to be eligible to vote in any election. And I think the presidential primary actually is the least important for citizens' rights. What's most important is referenda that will affect citizens for the next decade. Politicians, local politicians who will be governing for the next two, four, maybe six years. This has impact on people who make New Hampshire their longtime home. It doesn't have impact on people who are transients. They're students for one, two, at most four years. Their true home is in Connecticut, New Jersey, Long Island. And they're students at one of the many fine universities in New Hampshire. And they can still be eligible to vote if they just take some basic steps towards being a New Hampshire resident. A driver's license in the state of New Hampshire is evidence enough to be considered a New Hampshire resident for voting purposes. That, you're not invested. It is not fair to put extra clout into people who don't want to be around the state except for one primary. It, as Oh, a weapon to disenfranchise people. That's the terminology that progressives are using. It is the progressives, along with their ACLU allies, that are trying to stop enforcement of this bill. Now, the New Hampshire Supreme Court has already ruled that it is valid, it's constitutional. I argue that it's wise. I also argue that the state and citizens themselves who would like to become part of New Hampshire are better off by making New Hampshire their home. New Hampshire makes it easy enough. It's a wonderful state. It's the most prosperous state in the Northeast. It's the freest state potentially in the whole United States. So if you're just here for four years, I don't think you deserve to have all the privileges of somebody who has been here for a lifetime and plans to stay. In a way, your voting is mean to other people. You're canceling out the vote of somebody who has studied issues, maybe met with candidates because they're long-term residents, and then you whimsically say, ah, I heard a 30-second commercial, I'll vote for the other guy instead. Do the nice thing to others. Let people whose lives are kind of governed by who they elect really take more control. But here's who doesn't want that. Levelers. People who want everything to be on the exact same plane. And a few candidates, all in my Democrat party, feel that that's the right thing to do. It's the wrong thing to do. Wooing people, oh, it, they come to them because the far-left Democrats woo not with reason, but with feeling. So there's the 
30 second commercial that moves your feelings good enough to win some votes. Folks, voting has consequences. It should not be just a time of whimsical self expression. I was a student myself for four years at Dartmouth in New Hampshire. I was, this was 35 years ago, and still registered to vote in Connecticut. So I was on the sidelines while candidates for the 1984 primary, that was John Glenn, Gary Hart, Ruben Askew, Walter Mondale, they came to campus. But I wasn't going to be able to vote. I wasn't invested in New Hampshire, and I didn't deserve to be. And so too is the status now. Take the extra steps to put yourself as a New Hampshire long-term intention. Take the steps to do that. It's not hard. And you can have the franchise like everybody else. Until you do that, let other people who are long-term residents, real residents, control the business and governance of New Hampshire. I'm Mark Stewart.